previously on Vanguard. Uh, what the fuck? Hang on. Hmm? A truck just drove past me. Like, okay. like a truck truck, not, not... So the planet's um, not as abandoned as we thought it was, maybe? I also think he just crashed. Looked like he crashed, but he's not here. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. You uh, <laughs> need any backup, or...? Whoops. Yeah, no question, he crashed. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. He crashed, and whatever he was carrying blew up. I'm not seeing anybody. No, oh, uh, uh, but I am seeing ammunition. <laughs> it's got a data pad in it. Entitled, don't screw up, kid. So what? Do we want to try to like, turn it over? All right, here we go. Hey. Oh, yeah. Well, there was that pad. I forgot. Get this shipment to the company. Do not attract any attention from UCA or the others. Take the following coordinates. GPS data corrupt. Once delivered, bring back, bring the truck back to Big Mike's. Oh, oh dear guy, he's gone crazy. Next is Ironworks uh, and Barbecue. What's yeah. he barbecuing? Oh, wait a second. Is he sealed for freshness? No, he just oh. sealed himself inside. Oh. oh. Well, nice and you call you me paranoid. Um, you never call, you never write. So you locked yourself indoors? Hey Tex, stay here and uh, work on the iron. We'll go get cobalt and come right back. While we're here, we should probably, looking at it, go and if we're, I mean, Big Mike's from where we are is what, 36? We've come and pe we've come to contact you about your truck's extended warranty. That doesn't help. Hey, please ignore him. Big Mike's, okay, so Mike runs the bar? Oh, what? Look on the left. Big Mike Sullivan. Uh, I'll be happy to make uh, contact here. Oh, go ahead. Well, hello there, sir. What a fine establishment you have. Well, hello there. Welcome mm, to gee. Big Mike's. Uh, he's actually found someone? What the hell? It's a person? Welcome. Welcome. What can I do for you in my nice saloon? Uh, I mean, uh, I think a round would be would be a nice way of breaking the ice. Sure. Would you like clan cola or cosmic coffee? Oh, uh, I was hoping <laughs> might have something more along the uh, <clears throat> alcoholic. Uh, no. Sadly, uh, it's only synthahol these days. Oh, yeah. I just thought I'd bring you bring you this. Um. Found a crash truck. What have you got there? Uh, and it looked like it was, um... Well, I thought I'd report the accident. It looked pretty bad. Something it, maybe it exploded? A crashed truck? Uh, well, uh, we, we just do, uh, you know, innocent... We, we ship ores across across the planet. So, um, no, we, we don't have anybody out at the minute. Uh, I mean, who are you? Oh, just some local travellers. Uh, we came, honestly, I came to go to Bogany. Uh, I see... It's Bogany. Been, yeah, been we were changes. coming for the winter sport. Uh, not here specifically, but... Bogany. We uh, come yeah, for a holiday. Yeah. At, uh... Bogany, yeah. Yes, uh, <clears throat> yes. Well... Uh, w welcome to the saloon. I don't know if I said that already. Um, yes. seems like there's some interesting stuffs happened here. You got any idea? Where did uh, the snow go? I was quite looking forward to the Did you say you were again? What? Just, just some travellers come to Risa. Or is it, or is it Risa? Or is it what's the one, Farrell? Uh, the uh, right, sir. He says it has to have a pop. Is this right? 
It did. Yeah. Yeah, we, we heard reports recently that uh, one of the colonies, the, the heavy heavy machinery colony, uh, had become under attack and, and, and some random sky people had uh, come to their assistance. Well, it was you? Yeah. Thank you. They seem to be armed themselves. But, uh, speaking yeah. of armed... We did have a sort of secondary purpose while we were here. You know, we a bit of tobogganing, a bit of snowboarding, that sort of thing. Enjoy the winter sport. Uh, but simultaneously, we were supposed to be contacting someone on the planet. Someone, uh, someone from uh, an organization called Akiad? I don't know if you've heard of it. I just get this feeling you might have done, given what was yeah. in the truck. Uh... No, uh, we weapons, no, no, they're, 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 uh, they're no, no. Uh, yeah, they're restricted on the planet. Yeah, I knew that. I mean... Including we, the we, one that's we above your head, the... one would imagine. That's, that's um... a, you're allowed defense, but uh, to deal in weapons, uh, that's, that's yeah, different. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, gentlemen. Uh, uh, would you uh, would you like to, uh, you know, uh, take a seat? Uh, I'm, I'm getting a, a call on my... My communicator and I, uh, it's a bit of a, a personal one. Um, I think we got off to the wrong, on the, on the wrong kind of uh, footing. Yes. So, uh, you were saying about a truck. Yeah, big black one, full of ammo, blew up. Yes. Is that direct enough for you? Well, I am, um, hmm. I am in a bit of a pickle. Folks, uh, I see you've got a nice ship there. Uh, you're new to the neighborhood, should we say? Uh... Yes, well, you see, I... I do move certain things that could be volatile in nature, uh, but, but only for very select clients, and uh, the biggest and um, most worrisome of clients... Uh, well, it was... It was their shipment and uh my associate he uh, well you you found his truck <laughs> oh no. No, we're not. welcome to mm. mike's emporium as you can see we have the finest latest technology on show for you bet you've not seen a type one railgun before Ah. Here you ah. go, gentlemen. Huh. Hmm. Welcome to Big Mike's big collection. Now, is that what yeah. the big's about? Yeah, no. The big, big can be whatever you would like. Um, as long as you have a big checkbook. I could kill so many spiders with these. <laughs> Only if you do a job for me first, however. We have yes. the Mark I artillery turret. We have the Mark I assault cannon turret. Oh, and the Mark II railgun up on the ceiling, if you'd like to uh, see that beauty. Oh. <laughs> uh, the jewel of any capital ship. Hmm. Fires hmm. large sabot rounds, rail rounds. Directly through the enemy's armor. I'll take four. You'll take four? <sighs> yeah, well. Well. Man, a couple of those on the midline. Mm hmm. Let's hope you have enough power to uh, satisfy its voracious need. That's All of those better. who aren't in charge, stay here, That's enjoy. Better. Enjoy the hospitality, and then whoever's in charge should go upstairs. So. Quite simply, the job is to move some cargo between here and the border of, uh, well, the results oriented sciences and the United Colonies of Acris without anybody noticing. So preferably without using any spaceships or, or uh, aerial vehicles, which tend to draw attention. Okay. Uh, so that seems simple enough. How far and what do we get in return? And I do have one third final okay. little request to sweeten the deal, but I'll leave that till the end. It depends what you uh, what you need. Obviously, you I would be there? slightly indebted to you because uh, mm, you get to me no. out of the 
a bit of an issue uh, with uh, obviously my biggest clients is uh, starting to twist the screws somewhat because I haven't delivered their shipment on time and you don't want to get on the bad side of them uh, so uh, I would give you one of the large turrets plus I would open up my uh, stores to you at a discounted rate uh, is there anything else you would you'd need only where we're going oh it seems see. something we can handle and as I said just to sweeten the deal can I borrow your office look at that oh you just like to stand there now that is the sort of place where you stand for a firing uh, yeah, Do you feel like you're back at school? You have to get uh, told off by the headmaster? Yeah. Uh, let me bit. just send you the GPS location. And, uh... Okay, you, you, you do your business. Um, I'll, be, I'll be right out. Yeah. And in return, what? A turret and access to the stores? Correct. Hmm. Half off, right? Sounds like it. I mean, that sounds fair to yeah, me. Yeah, it sounds like it. Thanks, Mike. Good deal. It's a uh, big Mike to you. Oh, uh, another thing, gentlemen. Because of the issue with the, uh, the semi truck and my semi truck also having issues, you do need to somehow um, hook up a, uh, a land vehicle that can that can take the universal cargo unit, which is currently outside. We got a time limit on this. As quick as you can, gentlemen. Uh, I will give you a bonus if you do it very quickly. Right, thanks, Mike. No hey, problem. You, you be safe. I'll be fine. Sounds like our first vehicle is going to have a platform for shifting that around. And hey, if we design it right, maybe we leave it like that for moving other stuff around as well. Oh. Hey, get out the road, damn it. Okay. Oh, look it. It's so cute. It is kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> this text file, you seem to be glowing green with excitement. And the payload, I believe, is 10 wide. So let's double check that just quickly because this is final width. One to 12 wide. That should do, I reckon. Oh, 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 problem. Um, oh. oh yeah. Just wanted Bird's to word give word it a test a, with the new engines. Magic power of... Uh, oh, oh, ah, okay. Oh. I saw that from across the uh, semi there. That oh. um, looked pretty serious. figured out what's uh, gone wrong over here and uh, you know because I've been looking at this thing for a little while and um, is it that it's on fire no I think it's safe to say it's backed up okay. congratulations sounds perfect yeah that uh, whatever explosion happened on that knocked out power on this grid so uh, it's not exactly much of a survival rover as much as it is expensive paperweight right now. Perfect. Hmm. Might be able to get back over though. Um, we could probably flip the thing, but. Hmm. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we happen to have a very handy vehicle flipping area right here. Then it's just a question of getting it back out. The survival kit works, it's just out of power. Yeah, the whole grid's out of power. Let's see. Well, this is all too familiar, isn't it? 
I think we can just flip the jar to be honest. It's not that heavy. Well, I can probably flip it with the front of this thing, honestly. But that's, that's how it ended up broken in the first place. No, no, I was not in a hover vehicle trying to flip not that you, thing, it was but... someone else. I'm saying, pushing it around is how it ended up upside down in the first place. No, because all I need to do is drop that wheel. Drop not that one, the other one. Should still be able to move with that. What is Bernie? Why are y'all burning stuff all the time over there? I'm in here. Bernie batteries. Oh, that can't be good. And what are you doing exactly? Other than trying, being a peanut gallery? Trying to mine some gold. Hey, don't make me put the battery, the power cells back in it and then not have any power in it still. I've just put new power cells in. Why are you refusing to go down on that wheel? Never. <laughs> Is it hit the wing above it? No, it's not. Hmm. Don't know. No. This one is. A little um little tight. I forgot to mention that I have a stronger I can see past the caravan I needed to get in here to find out what was broken anyway. I mean, maybe if I hit it from the other side and try to flip it that way, but it's a little more difficult to... I'll just do this. <laughs> There's no fun in that. You sure? I mean, I can I can leave it up here, maybe. <laughs> just leave it there. I mean, yeah, if you want to drive down the road like that, it's going to look pretty <laughs> impressive, but... Hey, you got it upgraded. Yes. No thanks to um. <clears throat> okay. Try it. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, you know. I don't know why it's got seats on it. Can you imagine one riding on the trailer? I just can't see that being particularly fun. Yeah, no, I agree. Especially if, if you're driving in front of the car. Do we have a way to fill hydrogen bottles around here? No. Never mind. Alright, we got a left. You already have components for all these, uh... No, we don't have the gold for it. Oh, uh... Space you want me to, uh... I can take a flight over to space bar and pick some up. I mean, hopefully this fog doesn't... On me. Hopefully the fog doesn't get any worse, or space bar can get here. Yeah, I've got 329 ingots. Let's see... Each gravity component takes... Uh, no, that's 
not true. Not true. No, each one of these takes five. Oh, I, I was, uh, I was, I said how many? I was you know, calculating. Each of those yeah, I, but I, I thought you said each oh, one I of them know. takes one, which is not true. Each one takes five. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, they're <laughs> also already queued up. Uh, you don't have enough. Yep, yep. Two, three, four, five, six should be thirty queued up. Huh? No, no, but Not some 12. are already made. Ah, okay. So, yep, still need ten more. So yeah, we need seventy-seven units. And get some gold. No, it doesn't matter exactly how many we need. It just matters what we're getting out here. Those wheels just look totally inadequate for that thing. Well, they're not staying. What is it for? Just lowering it back down? No, it needs to be longer. gonna get the load on to this No, not yet. Hmm. Maybe we find some way to adapt hover engines to attach to it? Uh yeah, we could do that. I mean it's got landing gear on the bottom, which doesn't exactly make it that easy to move. No. And this thing's a flyer, not a, a VTOL or a hover thing. This is going to take forever trying to recharge off these solar panels. Yeah, just build an extra bit onto the base. To be honest, we could do with expanding this a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I was thinking. Go ham. Um, I was halfway through redoing the drill arm as well. That needs... I mean, you can kind of see what I was doing on with it, but if you need more materials, that's where I've been getting them from. Unless you want to go and rock down the road and grab some stuff. Oh, I've got, uh, yeah, I've actually offloaded a little bit of iron over here.
Okay, I will admit that looks a bit silly. But not as silly as if I do this. that pretty quick. Okay, I'm gonna make a run to the iron mine. Yeah, we didn't bring it up. We're blowing through it really fast. Hey, you want me to make a run? Are you gonna fly it? Uh, I'm gonna fly the first leg of it. Then probably come back on, uh, well, I think it should be able to, uh, fly it back. Granted, it is absolutely the worst weather for this, but... Granted, I also have only six minutes of usable power left, but... So why are the front ones doing it, but not the back ones? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm looking for sense in the wrong places. Now I don't have the um, the bandwidth to stream to multiple sites at once, even if I wanted to. Uh, but both Twitch and YouTube have exclusivity contracts that mean that if you're a partner, in reality, you really shouldn't be doing that. expecting this to handle really badly after unloading it completely, but it's doing pretty good. No, I suspect you'll find the bad handling the other way around. <laughs> no, I, I came over pretty heavily loaded, and uh, I've got a little nose-up attitude here, but it's still manageable, at least. Hmm? Nice. Granted, I've got all the carrying capacity of a slightly <laughs> asthmatic gnat, but... I think, like, if, if, if the, the truck here is, is your pack mule, then, then what you've done there is you've attached some saddlebags to your cat. Mm-hmm. And you're sort of hoping that it's going to go in the right direction. Deep. Hang on, aren't you at a base? Um, technically, there was a base, yes. Okay, that 
doesn't particularly clear up the question. Yeah, no, that definitely leaves the question. It was certainly a base at one point. He's, he's being evasive again. Be more worried if he wasn't. What are you? What have you done, Space? Nothing. Oh, now he's really being yeah. evasive. We got stuff to build hover, uh, like two hover engines. Only two. Yeah, I need a speeder bike to get back and forth and wait for uh, gold to be drilled out. <laughs> Obviously. Well, when are you coming to visit us then? Um, I thought you were bringing the gold to make, you know, yeah, I guess I could do that because I need, I need uh, to do something with my, my time while I'm waiting. trailers stay, staying relatively still as you know I like it's still doing its thing which is not a yep. lot oh I hit gold Inventory full. how are you surprised by hitting gold Your how gold much of mine. it is there <laughs> is the gold mine um, I mean it was the whole point of you going there right was to smoke get gold, gold desert to be honest Base you guys at? Cobalt. Well, they're at okay. Cobalt. I'm over at Nickel. Or not Nickel. I thought you were going for mine. I'm first. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to get into the Wi Fi here, so. so you were going to Iron Mine. Yeah, I am. Yeah. That's why I'm asking you how I get into your Wi Fi here. Uh. Uh, I don't remember what the edge. There is no public. This also happens to be an ideal spot for me to charge up for a little bit, too. with you and your family, mate. I hope you get through it. Tough time.
your love. Fuel critical. Now, let's see. I don't know why we need to write my review of this place. Um, I came here and waited forever for service. Uh, no one responded. Uh, one star. Where's this? The Texas. And this is a Texas place, is it? Mm hmm. Yep. What are, you, what are you looking for, man? Grill was disappointing. The staff was very rude when confronted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Belligerent, some might say. Mm -hmm. If you don't come to the best barbecue this side of Rice, then. Actually, what I'm here for is the 15-minute recharge time. I landed with about four minutes of battery power left on this thing. You, know, you have to set yourself up a point here so that when you're back, you just plug in for a bit. Yeah, I, I started to, and then it was becoming obvious that we were going to run out of iron to actually build it with, so... It's a decent amount, but we're going to run out of that pretty quick. Yeah, let me see if I can just charge somewhere over here. There's one I started building uh, on the opposite side of the base. Oh, okay. I'll go over by one of the uh, landing supports, just a you know, connector attached to a pillar, basically. Yes. But it's not that bad. I'm charging up here, so... I guess I have to hack my way in if I want to actually do some opportunistic mining while I'm at it. Um, Thank you, Trouble Typhoon. Is this another byproduct of the update? Next to the stairwell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These blocks I, have a different texture yeah, to the I'm ones a, next to them, despite the fact that they were painted the same. I can see where. It, it was a, a good attempt at hiding it, but when you know where to look for for the drill divot in the ground. I figure I have additional space in the refinery. I can fill it with some raw ore and just bring Yeah, the question is why me. doesn't it match the texture next to it? They're painted the same. That block is the same color as the block next to it. So why is it very clearly a different color to the same the block next to it as opposed to the same color? Yes, Oscar, it is. You'll see more Pulsar.
should give it a proper shake. We should give it a proper shake down, Tex. Yeah. I actually take it for a bit of a fly and see whether or not you it has any critical. issues once you get her up to speed. Yeah, my problem is that I don't have a lot of charge. You build yourself a charging attachment. I just did. Oh, I'm gonna well, charge it. That'll do. That is something a little weird. The uh, did you guys update the the turret interface software for the? Nope. A lot of turret. Clearer. Yeah, it used to be all staticky. You know, like we had a bad connection. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was just more drawing attention to King's habit of breaking stuff that was working absolutely fine. That has nothing to do with anything they're changing it's more in updates. Here. It's kind of dark. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't help with the fog and everything that was out. I don't know if it's still foggy out there. Like, like, like they, sh they had no need to go anywhere near the standard skin, and yet it's still not right. <sighs> Yeah, the problem with the ground effect lighting is these things are large grid only. Oh, wait. Or were large grid only. This should be plenty long enough. I think we need to put some more. Uh... Oh, you did already. So I could put glowing hemorrhoid rings on my ship. I have seen this before. I have lived more than plenty. If you have any thrusters. Motive force. Hang on, I'm busy trying to figure out. I'm busy trying to figure out where things go. Hang on. Again, yes, there's thrusters. Takes a bit more power on takeoff there. Yeah. Quite a bit more. <laughs>
fuel low. Fuel critical. Yeah, hey, at least I managed to fix that. Don't know what's different this week, but it's working. Where right, I put gold in the uh, system over there. Thank you very much. <laughs> much appreciated. I like how you're using suspensions on the bottom of your pistons, even though you're not going to have wheels. Uh, they did have wheels. Oh. It was originally, you can see where the back originally was. I put wheels mm -hmm. on the pistons in order to roll it forward slightly so I could extend it. You need to make them uh, fold out and have wheel covers over them or something. Yeah, well, the unfortunate downside of this is uh, because of how the wheels, this, this these are 5x5 five five wheels originally, because of the scale of it, mm -hmm. and because the 5x5 five five wheels mount with a two block wide attachment point on the wheel itself, there is no way to put a fake wheel in the right place. Because mm. they actually attach in slightly different positions. Of course. I did, I did think about having them hover, having it have like fake wheels that fold away or whatever, but no. Maybe if I ever remake it. Especially given the amount of aim this has already been because of its weird nature. <laughs> Well, back to uh, running gold. Yeah, we definitely need a lit runway for this thing. We could also do it getting some ice from somewhere, so maybe that's a. Uh, I've got some that's kind of taking up cargo space. Well, if we were to drop it off, I'm more thinking from the angle of uh, we're going to need to maintain stuff longer term, right? For jetpacks, etc. Mm hmm. Yeah, you may have to attach a collector to something. I'm not sure how far away from the lake we are or the river we are, but... Uh, that could, I could do, when it gets a little bit lighter, I could do a little dry run. Why is the attachment point on the end? Nice. That's so dumb. Oh, I see how it is. I'm building a little spot to hook up my rover tax. And I come back and mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just charging up a little. You you weren't using I was helping. And you know, we're here. <laughs> doesn't matter, it's not connected to the inventory in any way, so it doesn't really help me much at this point, but I have foil loaded myself down here with iron, so refined, unrefined, the whole nine yards. And yeah, just, I could do uh, a corner first. I'm just wondering the, uh, why they have end attachment over that points mountain. anyway. Oh, except for the T, which has a side one. What? Or so that's got the side attachment. That's got side attachment. The top of said mountain going over it. That's got side attachment, but all the other ones don't. Bizarre. Oh, there we go. There is one with the side attachment. There's just a version without it as well. Okay. I get put 2k uh, ice in there. Thank you. Yeah, 
think how much uh, close to, uh, do you have? Because I won't mind grabbing a little bit. I don't want to empty out the base of it. Well, that's why I'm wondering um, with how close we are. 2k on for me. That's why I'm wondering with how close we are to the river here. We might be worth setting up a extraction system of some sort. Hmm. So I have a ton left myself. I mean, at that, I could probably just take some... I've offloaded my iron here. I can definitely see the river from here, so I could always try to head over in that direction. Vision doesn't know what a one of these is. stuff to a thing and then it doesn't show up at all yeah i was just trying to pull something out of the inventory over there i was having some issues i don't know if something's gotten disconnected somewhere shouldn't have but Okay, so those are feckin' useless. Because they don't actually emit light. They're just coloured. There's no light emissive from that at all. It's not a light. Like even that little bit of red glow you're getting there, that's coming from reshade, not the game. If I turn reshade off, you get nothing. equals better coverage but also more stupid Yeah, that's why I was confused, is the large grid ones don't work like that. The large grid ones do actually admit light.
Hmm, not convinced about the hover engine position on that. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I don't know where else to put them, but... And he's off. Who? Me. Huh. So, let's see if I can uh, find that uh, river out here. Oh, it's like 300 meters away. <laughs> maybe, maybe 500 meters away, I thought. Yeah, it's not super far away from what I remember. <laughs> yep, yeah, I've already got in sight. Water landing. Land on what though? Mm, Are you sure you float? <laughs> if I hold my breath long enough, maybe? That's not how floating works. Fuel critical. You've got to stop cho choosing to paint these things in colours you can't see in the dark when you're trying to work on them. Well, I have no idea which way around that block is. It's just a see-through mess. I've got a vague idea because of the uh, direction the aerodynamic thing is pointing, and that is it. What happened to my drills? <sighs> The drill heads are gone. Did you anger the drill god? Inventory. Something like that. Obviously he did.
Jeez, my pistons man. were going too fast. No, no, all my pistons are making funny noises at the moment. Yeah, mine were too. They're all hissing at me. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of snakes got loose. to make them do that. Boy, that's annoying. Well, the snakes. Mm hmm. Turn the piston off. Apparently, they're feeding on the power or something. Hmm. Yeah, it is annoying. Fuel low. But if you're using it as part of your drill rig, that's going to be um, Fuel critical. problematic. Pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do have like 1200 ore, gold ore, so it's not like a, you know, need to dig a ton of ore, unless we plan on selling some of it. Well, might be I mean, a fair bit. Why not? No, uh, you said the magic words to wasted. Mmm, money. Sell money. I'm not greedy, I only want a small pack. I just like the I
Well, that didn't take longer than I did it. However, quick draw Moldark on the case. Shit, I don't like that either. <laughs> Also decided that maybe I needed to add an extra battery in, so I had enough endurance to go for the pickup truck. Because the uh, well, it didn't make much sense to make a truck and then not have have the escort, or it couldn't actually follow. Mm, makes some sense, yeah. It'd be helpful if you could keep up. It sounds suspiciously like code word for Greeble. Hmm. I think you might be right. Kind of hurt. For all we've been through. Excuse me of blatant rebelling. I think the reason is because of all we've been through. Rather than after. Remember, the first part of the road to recovery is admitting you have a problem. No, no, I, I have more of a problem with the service at your barbecue place. Look, it's a new place. I'm having trouble, a little trouble getting help. Hmm. And guess what? The piston is exactly where I need to build again.
Yeah, what looks right here? Because that that doesn't. I don't think. Yes, I know. I'm out but of jetpack fuel. Better than it that. is critical. Anything to do better right now? Yeah, there is. Oh, I'm going to get into the front of the survival rover. Oh. Okay. Goodness. <laughs> there's being planetary bound and then there's being planetary bound. Yes. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> if you need to, you can always jump in there. It doesn't have the ability to fill a bottle, but you can fill your own tank. I'm thinking of moving that whole engine. I think I like these pods more than I like the big. Ah, shit. Thrusters were already in. Thrusters are under there. Waiting backwards. Just about see them through the gap. There are two large atmospheric thrusters in there. That looks more like a truck. Would have its wheels. But I think this looks better. I just might move the pods back a bit. These front pods are a bit close.
someone can someone hit the light switch? I wanna hmm? see now. Yeah. In fact, I've had enough. I am painting this thing white for the time being so I can actually see it. Huzzah! Fuel low. Fuel critical. Hey, look. Getting lighter. Yeah, well, let's marry up. Inventory full. <laughs> I like your accent. Purple lighting. Yeah, I'll probably tweak it a bit, but. Inventory full. Inventory full.
Yeah, I think that looks better. It looks a bit weird now that it's white, but I think it looks better. place it correctly and evenly that it would hang over the edge of the back of the truck which I think will look strange. I don't know, let's have a look. Payload we need to pick up. No stick out too far, that needs to be brought in. Get out of here, stalker. Well, thank you, Lady T. And good choice. Or probably a good choice. Hope things are going well. Iceberg, right ahead. Arr, iceberg, what? <laughs> This is big ah. white monstrosity. Huge beast of Can't something. Possibly be. Are you, are you going to make a skeleton truck or? No, I got fed up with not being able to see it in the dark. Ah. Like which way around I'm placing things, so white it white it became for a bit. I do not plan to leave it this color. <laughs> may have some white bits on it eventually, but it's not staying like this. Why does this thing have a whole bunch of oxygen and hydrogen tanks on it, but not one O2 generator? Which thing is this? <laughs> this thing parked right next to the building here. I find this highly amusing. There's hydrogen engines on it. Yes. There's hydrogen tanks on it. There's oxygen tanks on it. There's you not don't one necessarily generator. have to generate locally. Yeah, okay. I, I have finally uh, got the hoverbike fixed up. If I'm not mistaken, there isn't even a generator on the trailer either. There's not a generator on the base either. No, I haven't built one yet. <laughs> feel, free, feel free to make one. You so probably do I came with back one. fully loaded down with ice for what? For our jetpacks. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I get that. And and how are we turning the ice into gas for the jetpacks? Well, you can build one. It's not that hard. 
Oh, I see. Uh, get the ice, then we got nowhere to put it when I get back. Yeah. Correct. Well, well spotted. Ah, pretty much. Okay, as soon as this thing is charged up, I'm gonna take it for a little spin around. Um, sorry, what? Oh, yeah, it's attached on the side. Yep. What was, he, what was it even attaching to? Uh, no, it's on the side. Fuel low. Fuel critical. Oh, we're out of, uh, cobalt. I can fix that. I was going to say we are sitting in a cobalt mine. Mm-hmm. Let's say, what are we waiting on on the gravity component? Yep, slightly surprising, but yeah, I guess I'm mostly in love getting stone. Part my thing. Barrel. Mm -hmm. Why are you taking apart the thing? Because we need a new mining arm that can actually reach that. Let's reposition it lower so we can actually get down here. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I mean, there's no point in anchoring it all the way up there, then have to traverse all the way down there, right? I was hand mine it. There is, as well. The, the reasoning is because it gives you space to put the drill in the um, Essen, etc. Uh, we'll have room for it. You've got, you've got, well, you've got a hole now. When it was built, there was no hole. Exactly. Space bar is continuing to be awfully quiet. What's going on? Uh, I'm just I'm building. Okay, so not up to something then. No, just waiting for. Uh, I have to go slow with my drill arm, or I'll break the drills off again. Is that the piston head that broke, or the rotor head that broke, as opposed to the drill itself? Or was the drills actually uh, gone? The drills and the rotor head were gone. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. Eh, dangers of leaving it unattended, I guess. Apparently. I 
Oh, that was some locals came in. Gave me some ass. Could be. It was very sp specific. More, more vandalism than an attack. go searching for round blocks at this point. We aren't anywhere near us. Mm -hmm. A fair amount of cobalt. We're just have to refine it. Got 8k already. I need something cool to put in the trunk bed, chat. What are we doing? Sorry, folks at home. There's survival kit on one of these things. Why? There. Why? Ah. The open space was there when we got the thing. Like, the, I didn't build most of this vehicle. We, we nicked it. I'm just converting it to hover. And this open space was there to begin with, so I've left it there, but I kind of need something to put it in. It doesn't have to be something functional. There's so much room on this vehicle, it's almost a bit ridiculous, to be honest. Guys, this, this gap is one block deep. I can't fit a survival kit in it. Or a crate. God no, how many of these are the other direction? No. Okay. I'm not planning on welding all of these panels either. We'll leave some of them unwelded for the look.
Energy critical. Just a heads up, Texas. Should you end up at that point, don't weld the um, panels on the back. No, okay. I'm just focusing on the first mm -hmm. right now. I am turning them off as I finish. Uh, mm, good. I'm slightly surprised it's not closing lift already. That's because I'm turning them off before I complete. First rodeo. Right, so you said as you were finishing, so I was confused. Fair enough. You know, that there is going to look like a real beaut when you finish her up, but um, I got to ask you, you think about putting flame decals down the side? Uh, I have now. Because, you know, I, I think that just somehow feels appropriate. Oh, right, part of me wants to make it transform into a dude and wander around, but I don't know why. Man, that's crazy talk. Mm -hmm. optimal. Yeah. yeah, not exactly a prime idea there. No, mm. I don't think so. You know, I mean, it works out a little bit. We transform that into a pretty good idea. I mean, I can't help but want to actually just see it kind of bouncing up and down on those pistons right now, honestly. That is not the plan. And there's not what they're for. Oh god, yes, even with. So while it might be quite cool to use a few of these, we actually can't. How many uh, batteries are you going to have on this thing to run this, or are you putting it on it? I've already done it. It's currently got 13. I might put a couple more on, depending. I got two on the bike, but they're in a lot less weight. Drill head exploding. Oh, the the parameter just wrong. You get animals big jobs.
If the question is, am I excited to have one less required mod in my list, then the answer is, I guess so. Why did it take this long? some brake lights, no question. The no question is what? Are we going to outfit your ride with some hovers? And Heck no. If I put hovers on that thing, I'll never actually be able to sit anywhere. Just put it down and it'll just suddenly go boom flying off into the nowhere you can turn them off you know I'd never be able to land either Oh yes, definitely offers a fully licensed, it's just in my other jacket. Oh, Alright right. there, Ricky Bobby, you got yourself some upper edges on that there ride. Next thing you know, you'll be east down, east down and down, loaded up and trucking. Oof. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna do what they say can't be done. Which is what, trucking? Well, we got a long way to go, but a short time to get there. Are you really about to try to do the Kessel Run in 13 parsecs? Parsecs near the distance, not time. That's why you take the shortcut. Don't know about the wormhole? myself anywhere to put this stuff. Damn it. Yeah, I can't even do that that way around.
That'll be hard. That'll be fine, right? That's just entirely held on by good wishes and hope. No real issues. It does. I could tent. If I put them above the fenders, they're going to go up onto where the cargo deck is. Okay, I think the cobalt problem's been solved. spin no, <laughs> no more than that not even a full spin mm -hmm. sounds about right No question, I'm regretting this decision. This is going to be fiddly as all hell. at hover and it's about 35 minutes at full thrust. Not your one. Is that your one? Mm-hmm. But it's nimble.
Run about just... 75, 80 in a straight line. I do not have enough room for power on this little thing. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Girl, you want one? Mm hmm? You, you want us to make you another one for, for the escort duty? Uh, for what, a hovercraft? Yeah, for a bike. I figured I'd fly overhead. I uh, remember what uh, Big Mike said about uh, flying craft too high up. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. <sighs> oh, nice. I like it. What do you think we're going to do? We're going to uh, throw some hovers on the cargo and float it on top? Or? Uh, sound particularly safe? Uh, I mean, no, it doesn't, right? Uh, make a crane? Pinpole or something? I guess so. By picking it up with the hover bike, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get a lot out. But I also don't think you're going to have much control if you did, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not sure how you'd pick something up because you can't really land on it. The only other option would be like a whole platform we could extend and slide it up at. I think that's probably probably the best option is to throw some pistons on that sucker, lift up to where it's level with the end of the bed, and then just have an arm that reaches out, and grabs it, and drags it onto it. Hmm, potentially. Part of with me would think if we take bits for a couple of pistons with us, um, there's no reason you couldn't put some pistons on the cargo, lift the cargo in the air, I drive underneath it, lower yep. the pistons, retract the pistons, and then we do yeah, the same at the far end. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And got quite full thought right on that, but there's no reason we can't. Make sure I got enough stuff for four of those. Ooh, that actually looks quite good. There we go. That's a bit better. I've got an emergency generator on board. It's the thing I'm worried about trying to put hovers on this thing, even if I wanted to, is it would really mess around with the weight distribution on it. 
and trying to keep it in something that will be able to fly, but then something that will be able to also work well on hovers. That's tricky. Especially since I'm already low down to the ground. You're going to make something that wants to fly for the most part. Basically. Well, I mean, yeah, this does fly. I mean, it is. It was more. With the engine. It, it, I would potentially think that if you were to put the hovers where the wheels are, you're going to end up with the same sort of result. The yeah, only difference is your landings just became a hell of a lot easier. No, they haven't. I have no braking thrust. Oop. So if I land, I keep going. Go some braking thrust then. Braking thrust. On a plane. Well, it wouldn't be a plane at that point, would it? It'd be hovery big. Hovery McCovervy. There you go. Got a name for you and everything. supposed to have body work surrounding it. Okay, fair enough. I kind of regret painting the whole thing now. Gotta be honest. Man, my nose is too long. Well, I wasn't meaning to say anything, but... I mean, I think it's a nice note. It's shapely mm. a little bit, you know. What's all this? What about Spaceball's nose? I, you know, I think it's, it's a very nice note. Is Spaceball here? He's talking about his nose. I just wanted to give him a little, you know. I don't think he is. Reassurance. I mean, positive reinforcement. Who are you and why have, where have you taken the real text? Talking about. I can't even see what you mean about the lion head. Gonna see you again? We ever gonna see you again? And then tell uh, do we lose space bar to the desert? I am one with the desert, and the desert is one with me. Are you sure about that? No, because he's made. Look at the size of it. One, two, three, four. There's no central. Like with everything else on this vehicle. Trying to do a drum solo over there? Uh, yeah. And thank you, Waldo. Uh, yeah. You're positioning something so it works a little bit.
Get out of here, stalker. As mentioned, I can't. Exhaust blocks go on top of a single block. These tack stacks are made out of four. So though there is no place to put the exhaust block, it would be offset and weird. Energy low. Oh no, this isn't breaking for us. First, Omnom. There are two large atmospheric thrusters in the front there pointing back. Yes, I'm looking forward to the point where the uh, the cargo hauler zooms off into the distance and leaves its escort behind. instead of our uh, lift the payload idea with the pistons is to put a small flatbed of sorts, uh, not flatbed, a uh, forklift of sorts on that. On what? On the... Like hang it off the back of the truck. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. small vehicle that goes with it. Oh, make, like make a whole other vehicle? Well, yeah, that's, uh. the, the forklift wouldn't work otherwise. You can't, you know, because if you pick it up with the forks, then what? <laughs> the vehicle with the forks then needs to move it. Yeah, I mean, depends on how much longer we want to do with this. destroying my perfect setup right now. 
Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna happen. I didn't, I didn't say it like permanently, like temporarily. I don't believe his lies, Feral. No, I wouldn't. I mean, I've already put a huge giant proboscis on the front of this thing, and I proved earlier that I can actually get the front suspension down and get it under things to try to lift. So there is that, but be able to move it with any degree of precision? No. Well, not only that, but do you remember what we are you're talking about picking up? Mm-hmm. Like, I built the truck that big because it needs to be that big to fit it on it. I don't think you're picking that up just by poking some blocks underneath it. Nope. No. Uh, any reason why we got a lot of the uh, gravity components? We did. Ton, literal ton. I have no idea. The only person that's been interacting with that stuff is you. Okay. Well, then I'm going to delete it all. After oh, another 20 or engines. Run for the magnesium mine. I think, uh, I think that's where it all is, at least. I don't think we've got any here. I mean, it dropped off a little bit. Tell me where it is, actually. Yeah, there's there's, there's 1.04 here. <laughs> well, give me a moment to. Which is enough to four to make a singular Gatling ammo box. Let me get these uh, no covers energy. up and I'll do a test flight over there. Just to make sure this thing still flies. Oh, you, you did queue up some hovers. No, I didn't queue up any hovers. I've already, I'm in the process of building them, but I've already got the grav components in there. Yeah, okay. CP as Moldock says at the moment with lockdown, I'm kind of stopped air soft for a bit. Um, I could technically start back up again, but. All of them but one. I don't know. I'm being a little wary. I haven't been queuing. I, I feel like the, uh, is... assembler queues or anything. Okay, you're outside okay. if you go to the right site. But there's a lot of other elements about it. There's pretty... That's not a great environment, you know. So I'm, I'm chilling for the time being. I'll be back to it soon. Well, I've got double reason to be cautious as well, because if I do end up with COVID, then I can't work, like, completely, because obviously that's going to fuck over my voice as well. Uh, obviously, with a lot of people, you get COVID, you can't work, but you see where, where I'm coming from with that. So I have to be particularly careful with that sort of thing. I figured out where I could actually fit the hovers without interfering with the uh, chassis, so this should keep it just enough off the ground if it works. Oh, it looks like we might be out of iron, too. Yeah, we're out of iron again. 
They make a run down to the iron mine while you make a run to the magnesium. Sounds like a good idea. Wait, yeah, You'll get more bang for the buck with what you can carry from the iron mine than, and uh, the smaller lot I can carry makes sense for the magnesium. Let's see. Our engines. Of the trailer? On this sucker? On what sucker? I Which throw the parts that I was saving for pistons. In uh, this? Not at the moment, no. There's probably room for it eventually. In this? Not at the moment, no. There's probably room for it eventually, but there's nothing put down yet. No point in me carrying all that all the way to the iron mine to like. I could fill up with iron. Okay, I've got a ton of gold. So I may, uh, um, join us. Yeah, I may make my way over that way. Sweet. Yeah, come, come have a visit finally. I haven't seen you in ages, Mr. Spacebar. You've been disappeared. Lurking, one might say. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, remember what your nose looks like. I thought you had a varied image of what his nose looked like. Yeah, I was being. I, have, I can't. Doesn't care about your nose, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Nobody knows the trouble he's seen. It does worry me how little holds this thing together in places as I'm taking bits of it apart and I'm like, uh, okay, so there's actually nothing in there. Okay. I would have expected some sort of support, but okay. Hmm, actually. Maybe. Yeah, definitely needs more weight forward. Everything in the suit says it's balanced just fine, but nope. I thought by this point you would have learned to not trust that. Hmm. Accidentally split, split grids much anymore because build vision fixes that for us. Build, build vision and build info. If you're going to disconnect a grid, it brings a warning up in that box on the right hand corner of my screen that literally says, Warning will disconnect grid. Not just cheeky, bloody handy. Here's what it is. Yeah, build vision, some of the uh, built in bits and bobs for build vision and um, build info are really quite useful. That being one of them, but that's the overlay I used earlier for the thrusters and other blocks being another good example.
Damn, one of us is gonna be a long trick. Did you not uh, give yourself some of them their uh, hovers? Mm, yeah, but. Well, how fast are you going then? Or are you just bloody long way away? Uh, a little bit of both. I'm like 45,000 kilometers away. 45,000 kilometers? Um, You're in a different slower system? What'd you do? Go all the way up to the Vanguard? 45, 45 kilometers. <laughs> Listen. Hey, wait a minute. I think the desert sun is getting to him. I've been up here a long time. Wait, has it got a sun? It's the only sun. What's his name? And... Larry. <sighs> it's a good thing I have a couple of rounds in my rifle, because um, I got Texas name on them. The song wouldn't be as good, would it? What, I've been through uh, the I desert would... on a horse with Larry? No, I was thinking more, and I would walk 500,000 kilometers, <laughs> and I would walk 500,000 more, but... It doesn't ring quite the same. I do expect he's going to shoot us when he gets here. Gives you that I do. Yeah, connector for charging, I don't know. It might not be a bad idea to have one. I'm just not sure where to put it. Potentially on the back there. Oh, yes. It's... Uh, <laughs> it's painful. Problem with a connector for charging is... Yeah. It would also look awful, I think. The side connector. Yeah, only option really, isn't it? Cut it in half, glue it back together. Speaking of the sleeper, small grid, can't put a bed in it. Thank you. 
No, you make a good point. Power needs to be sorted. You're not, you're not wrong, mate. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. Why? Why are they called Cryo? This is very out of character, but why are your consoles called Cryo Spacebar? Um, because there's two sets. The Cryo set um, is was a way to kind of counter like the another grid is taking control or whatever. Oh, okay. So they're hidden as cryopods. Yeah, I mean it's the same. It's the same model. It's just they're classified as a Cryo. Definitely. Wondered why they existed. I hadn't noticed before. Yeah, I did those a while back, but I don't think we ever used them. Well, why would we? Has everything been so consistent? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'd add to those after we would revamp the Vanguard. Like, I think literally the next weekend. You want a deforestation project again? Mm-hmm. Feral, feral of the jungle, watch out for that tree. Pretty much, yeah. Came out of nowhere. Softest landing I've ever had with the tree, but do not underestimate the breaking ability of a tree. Must not have been a hardwood. Get out of here, stalker. Okay, I am officially. Oh, happy birthday, Rumbles! Fixed. Thank you, third, dude. Could they be the other way around? And heading off for our. You're setting off. You hadn't left yet. No, I had, I had broken something. Yeah, I like you. As is tradition. Happy birthday, happy perspective.
stuck where? You're right there, Tex. Good luck. Hang on, there go my drills again. Oh, and my front wheel. Uh, you serious? Is that you 1.3k from where we are? No, that's probably me. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, that is you. Are you serious? I barely bumped any... <laughs> Doesn't sound good. How did it do that much damage? No, that definitely doesn't sound good. <sighs> I assume you're still quite a long way away. Yeah, and the front half of my rover is destroyed because I barely went over a bump. It took out my assembler, it took out my refinery. Oh, everything that's internal. That's so stupid. Okay, so at 980s per second, get airborne. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely putting my lights out further in front of my girl seat. I have a lovely helmet sized shadow right in the center of my seat. 
And then I barely tap something and I die. Are you for real? Have you got a... Uh... You got the ability to spawn over there. Yeah, I got a survival kit. Yeah, I'm with you, Ben. Yeah, I, I, I am 100% with you. Keen's fixing of the deformation of blocks has just revealed that there was something else wrong with their damage model. If anything, it's made it worse. Is it going over? I was expecting much smoother terrain, I've got to be honest. Going over this with 3x3 three three wheels? If he was going at any speed, I'm not surprised he had problems. He's only got four of them. That was about 20% charge coming down, so calibration, I guess. I'm with you. Remember that time that I just finished building a ship and the entire thing got shredded? Did we reload? Or that time we flew Vanguard into an asteroid? Did we reload? No, we didn't. Tex flew Vanguard into an asteroid just after we got it brand new and smashed the front end in. And we rebuilt it. Same with that time where I'd just finished building... What was it? Was it the With Teeth or was it the Puddle Jumper? I think it was earlier than that. And it just... The entire ship got shredded. Had nothing left literally just finished it and then AI showed up and wrecked the entire thing. We didn't reload for that. I don't think I'm too far from getting done with this space, but when I am I'll head your way with some parts. I don't know that it's fixable. I mean, it's just I've lost a ton of stuff. It it cored the inside of it, like my refinery, my assembler. Mm -hmm. I did see. Yeah. I did also I, notice I, that I, in the um, hole behind you is a whole bunch of the stuff that came out. 
still. Yeah, I'm trying to find a place to put that. That was just whether or not it was useful to help rebuild as well. No, that's mostly what's behind me is um the all the gold, gold ore I had. Ouch. I guess this is just a lot bumpier than I realized coming down it. It's pretty um, craggy looking at it. It's not like earth craggy, but it's not smooth by any means. Um, oh, that doesn't mean we can't rebuild. As I said, it's not far from being done. And hell, I can easily build a cargo package on the back of this that could hold plenty. load up 25k of iron and then head your way that'll help with repairs too yep After what you guys have been experiencing, I want to leave them unattended. Oh, yeah, of course. Offset. This grill being. This grid being too wide, uh, even block width, is just constantly being a pain. God damn it. We'd be looking at it the whole time as well. Uttering something about even numbers for some reason. Yes, I was. And it wasn't for some reason, it's because the. <laughs> truck! It's even with. Ah. It's annoying! I'm looking at It's as simple as that. Frustrated noises. Yeah, okay, fair enough. means you can't even put a connector on it because it looks cursed. I will say this, hyperbike is 
ridiculously. I got everybody quants. <laughs> I was on this planet like 10 minutes ago. All right. That's what else blew up. I wouldn't call that a bike. Gonna make it. it was, you didn't even see it. Sideways thrust. Now, kind of weird. Thrusters doesn't quite answer the question. It's gonna have. It's got hover engines, so it's gonna have thrusters in some directions. I don't want much sideways thrust because otherwise I can't drift. What music we're playing then, Roger that. <laughs> yes, he is. Energy low. Yeehaw! In your back, does it? Does that mean your back? Or, or. I'm unfamiliar with these noises. What do they mean? Uh, yeah, I I wanted to have a motor bike when I was a kid. Well, they just never seemed to have enough money.
Uh, you want us to pre-make you some components? It's hard to get your stuff there. Uh, I don't know what I need to fix right now. I mean, the biggest thing is just I need to get some storage up so I can get all that gold back in. I think I've got most of it. You want me to leave my lights on or turn them off? Oh, I think I'll probably be alright. I'm underneath the thing half the time anyway, so. Like with my head stuck inside the bodywork. <laughs> yeah, that's actually better. Weirdly, they were a bit too bright. Yep. Alright, well, there she is. Arc 1 hyperbike. Energy critical. Quite a lot bigger, I know this. Eh, I when you I added that extra battery and it kind of. Maybe added a little extra DACA to it, you know. More braking thrust. I mean, the center part is... Yeah, they'd poke through it here. Hot. It'd look weird. Mostly. It used to be cute. Less so now. Now it yeah. looks a bit weird. Yeah, you know. I mean, I could paint some goofy eyes on it. What's the name of the thing you use to... I always forget the name of this damn thing. You use to um, polish ice with Zamboni. That's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure, Tex, what you've built now is no longer a chair. It is now a Zamboni. Guy stands at the back here. Yeah, I haven't had to have the controls to the back of the Zamboni. Well, not really. In fact, all you'd have to do is turn your cockpit and point it the other direction. Really? Yeah, but Zamboni. Yeah, that's it. No it is a Zamboni, energy. and those are T-shirt cannons. 
Here, let me, let me, <laughs> let me, let's stand in front, I'll, I'll throw you a t-shirt. Well, that's the trick. It's not, they don't fire t-shirts. They fire at t-shirts. Okay, now just the thruster problem. And it needs more uh, batteries. Eesh. It's all this rubbish. Hey, Space Bar, is it safe to uh, fly out to your location? I've got all the go of them flying towards you guys. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if you could use the refinery and whatnot on board my ship to help bootstrap. Otherwise, I'll just drop by the uh, magnesium again here. And this time, remember to set a whole bunch of it refining instead of trying to load it all on the plane. time we're not running the paint gun mod. God damn it. I think I've lost some gold too. I don't know what happened to it. Isn't it worth going back and having a look at some point? I mean, I looked around the crash site, I don't... I didn't see anything. I don't remember how much I had to begin with, but I... I think I've got at least half of what I started out with. ITC B fifty two. Weren't those like old Earth bombers or something? Probably just a coincidence. Fuel low. Hope so. I thought that was a uh, old Earth uh, critical. 
It's, I think it's cute again. Put teeth on it. Uh, if you say so, Tex. Yeah. Cute. Friendly. Cutest I've ever seen. Very friendly, in a very friendly manner. It asks people to get out of the way or don't fail your ass. Flying around. Like your life. Flying around at night is for the birds. No, I don't working. think the birds do either. Yeah, no, they don't. They're, they're smarter than that. So currently, All right, I think I'll load back up with some parts then. Yes, weldless. Can't see where it is at all. Oh, except for the fact that they forgot to put the texture on some of the blocks, apparently. Although, I think I'm fine with that, because this has been smeared with the same crap that they have all over the windscreens. And the gyro, gyro, uh, the gryopods, look. This has got this has got Marek vision on it, whereas this is what uh, it looks Farrell, like without Marek. Do you drop off vision, any more magnesium or no? Yep, yeah, a little I bit. I think that is the deal. Oh, okay, I see it. Not a lot. I'm working over at the magnesium hole, doing their finding here. We can bring back a greater quantity. All oh, everything that I had loaded up in the rover refined within the time it took to flip it back over.
Uh, what do you need? You need like some iron? No, I'm just bringing the gold back. I mean, <laughs> there's no point in rebuilding that right now. It'll take too long to get it here. No thrusters up there, no siree. Think you'll find that's just the ceiling light. Like gold in front of the queue. Now, I hate to say it, but with how the uh, aerodynamics on this truck are looking, I may have to give it a spoiler. Next thing you know, he's going to be talking about track days. I don't think they do track days with trucks, do they? If they do, I mean. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, absolutely. What are you talking about? I'll have some of that. Oh, right. I left my bottle back there. That's a good time to realize that. I just they'll be like, I'm where's your thrusters? Look at you. Hidden in line thruster. My brakes. <laughs> Impaled on that thing as I'm going by. Yeah. That was like good. Well, this thing does have two large atmospheric thrusters under the bonnet. It's not going to be slow. Yeah. 
fuel low. I help you? Critical. Can I help you, sir? I'm just looking at this and thinking about forklift. Oh, it's getting replaced. I was trying to think of what to call it. Yeah, I think probably the best thing, honestly, would be jacking up the inner and then moving the truck underneath it. It's got a certain directness to it. Right? It's kind of got no, a no, no, no that faffing I'm, around. I'm just we lift it up, we drive under, and then we put it down. The only thing we probably need would be wait a minute. I have it. Yeah, I know. I haven't got to that bit yet. There were other issues like the ability to steer and slow down and, you know. Yep. Oh, the easiest way to mag plate is just place some of these half rails. Magnetic. to get the uh wing and then Fuel the uh, hovers decided they weren't gonna let me actually recover uh, so I didn't have a uh, nice cushion like I normally do on a landing mm -hmm. took out a thruster Notice there's some reactor components. Do we have uranium? No. I'll get tons of Actually, we got, ship. Yeah, we do. No, I lie. We do. I, I forgot. We haven't got it here, but we brought some with us, didn't we?
Why on earth would a programming block need a motor? Yeah. in each other's way. Our little paths going back. Could do the mag plates, but they'd be at the wrong height. Because of those two rails, there's no way to have a mag plate at half block height. Plus, that comes up quite nicely in the same height as this rail here. I think. Short of a plate way to recharge it, that's basically it. Well, and a paint job. But I might, I might pass on the paint job. I might also potentially keep the pistols. 
or at least add some sort of little landing bumper for it. Craig, look, let me show you something. Bingo. See what that shows? Now... Build info. It's built into build info. This is not a space engineer's feature. Build info. If you press Alt, uh, numpad star, you can change between a bunch of overlays that show you these filters. Like, and depending on what block you have up with this, you get different overlays. So, like, if I go and get out a drill, it'll show you that. turret firing ox and accuracy cone you notice that thing going out in the front you can it's hard to see but there's one for the wheels as well you can see the line there showing the suspension travel, how far the wheel actually moves. Yes, Lance, it is. There you can see the area on the landing gear that's actually magnetized, the bit you have to touch in order to get a landing lock. And that's why sometimes landing locks aren't as easy as they should be, is because the area you have to touch is much smaller than the landing pad is. And then there are a couple of other overlays that show you mount points, so if you need to know where the attachments are. Uh, and then this one shows you all the conveyor ports, even if they're invisible. So, highlighting where the ports are on blocks. Like, for example, on those, those ones that aren't normally highlighted up, but... Just realized that if I remove my connector, I can unlarge that thruster. In, okay. Yep. And, no, and, and, and can't recharge, but... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is this a good idea? Ridiculous. No, 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 no. It was not a good idea. It was, but it was an impulse. It was absolutely an impulse. It was like, okay, that was like, cool. You know, part of our requirement was that we had to deliver the cargo intact, right? Yeah. And the last guy who tried to do it crashed. Yeah. I, I, like I said, I, I immediately self-censored myself. Oh, that's a really bad idea. But it would be cool. I have a sneaking suspicion the space ball is going to be the fastest. Boss, sure. Finishes right or right? No, I think it's so small it will be the fastest.
war starts there. It's gonna look weird. But it's just dawned on me that that front end is half a block higher than where I just put those landing pads. How do I keep going through so many motors? Because everybody's using motors? Cause, yeah, because literally all of us are, I think. I mean, I'm, I'm just building lights, uh, not lights, um, landing gear at the moment. So it's not using many, but there's a lot of people using uh, thrusters. Do what it's doing here, Lance, where it like jiggles constantly. Here, let me help out a little bit here. Let me move a little further. I'm pretty much just grueling at this point. It's like a metal horse. Spot that man. Thank you. Yeah, it's just the trailer going for walkies again. You look like you float. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
Sadly, my hovercraft is not full of eels. <laughs> No eel block. No. Eels. Why would we need eels? This seems like crazy talk. Why are these tubes not offset? Uh... What tubes? The neon tubes. Mm-hmm. They also mount in funny ways. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, I've noticed that. And if you you'll also discover that they don't admit light. Oh no. Uh their uh, their missives are really weird. They depend on what the color they're set Oh up. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. But but yeah. they don't actually emit any light. Yep, no, you're a missive. Same thing for large grid. Yeah. Okay. The heat vents, uh, they admit a lot of light. I keep forgetting about that. I've got yeah. them on my gun chip because it's nice to have a visual indication of how much power I'm using. Mm hmm. That sucks a little less. Less one monolithic block. I can't make. <laughs> Hang on, I'm experimenting. Me hurt. Tell me who hurt you. Uh, I believe it was a hill. All right. Let's see if this is flying any better now. Okay. Breaks on. It just doesn't look good. Oh. Different seating, yeah. Um. Oh, I see. Well, they're also shorter, so I was able to fit an extra cargo container in there. I was fearing it'd be more of a scout versus a uh, armored. Hey, got an auto cannon in her line. Where'd you get an auto cannon from? Uh, we picked up off of one of those drones.
got I got her loaded up with parts for mag parts, mag plates, pistons and whatnot. You. Yeah, this thing is not gonna work with hovers on. The minute I get close to the ground, it slaps the tail back towards the uh, the ground and they come in tail first. And that's even with both hovers being at the, uh, the same height on the grid. Needs a paint, but that'll do for now. For a test. And I should probably decide if I want to have the lighting on the back white or I should change all of it to purple. Oh no, it's level. Not 0.5 meters for a small block, so it's definitely level. I'm just going behind this building. Don't follow me. Hmm. I smell something burning. It's not what I smell. Back in a sec, guys. You quick buy a break. <clears throat> that was a stupid reference to something we were talking about before stream, so it'll make no sense to anyone in chat. Drag race, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want to? Yeah. You know, Melody's good for his soul. Someone is going to manage to hurt themselves doing that, and I'm not going to go clean it up. Looking machine, pal. That was a funny looking trip machine, pal. I really wish I'd known we had radio or batteries. Well, but you can fit batteries on yours. I can't really fit on my mine. Yeah, but if I had the radiator, I wouldn't have been able to fit them on mine. Would have been a lot smaller. She looks funny, but she flies well. She just definitely right. can't take this hover adaption, unfortunately. The engines are just too heavy for it, and just uh, trying to get everything balanced for the weight, it's taking up a ridiculous amount of power just to do it. Taking double the amount of power to fly through the air with that grid. think I've almost got the weight distribution problem top to bottom figured out. It's 
Sorry about that. Worldless armor looks awful. That's as awful as that does. I mean, that and it's hard to say no to something that has an effective takeoff distance of nothing. I'm alright as long as I don't turn too sharply. But I run out of power pretty quickly. Yeah. You guys even have beacons on those things? Uh, I got a. Nope. Got an antenna. Antenna, but no beacon. Just gonna go buzz you, uh, fly on top uh, above you there. I I could probably lose the. Um detector and put in a beacon instead.
I don't know, there's something I quite like about that orangey yellow. It looks super dirty with this skin. It actually like shows up way better than I thought it would. That certainly is a color. What? Nothing. I'm just saying it's a color. Just not sure what color it is. It's nice looking. Is is truck color? Hmm. You can tell by how it's on the truck. Mm hmm. It kind of makes it look a little like. The cartoon bear. I'm 
really not getting it now. Oh, uh, it just has like a, a bear-like quality to it almost. Snout and eyes, and the only thing you, you kind of have almost uh, little ears above the windows almost. I'm gonna need some red for that. That too, yep. Mm hmm. survival kit on it? Uh, plenty. <laughs> There's a big rig. No. Uh, you'll be surprised how little room it has. Yeah. <laughs> Take you into account that I've had to hide quite a lot of batteries and thrusters in amongst all that as well. Have a shotgun, you could even get where the seat is. I mean, are we expecting to run into trouble? Um, we're, we're, we're about to run guns on a planet where it's illegal to make gun runs. So, yes. Wow. I think at a point we can safely say that any pretense that it's illegal to do this here is long gone. Mm hmm. This doesn't mean that somebody's not gonna try and stop us from taking it. No, true enough. They certainly didn't seem particularly comfortable. Right, there's gotta be a reason why you're paying someone to run them for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I suspect the last guy I was working for. Him. I? Maybe? No, he, he actually was called him on the phone, so he was still Energy. alive. Well, no, no, but the point was more. He was also, again, running. It was the, like, if you didn't need to do it via like dodgy couriers, you could just do it yourself. Now, uh, perfectly valid. Now, yeah, clearly, shady is all hell. on it working out. Yeah, it worked. Uh, I'm sure it'll be well, fine.
Oh, we should get guns really soon. I figured out a way to strap rockets. <laughs> I almost feel like I should paint my sphere bike some outlandish metallic color. I don't know, I'm just getting that vibe. <laughs> Nah. I feel like maybe you were out in that desert sun a bit too long. They put some right here in the front. Bad idea. Critical. I don't like what you got going here, man. It's definitely got a feel to it. Not a heck of a lot of ammo on board, but it gives us something. How many do now is arm is my oh good lord. I think the semi is basically in a weapons class all of its own, honestly. Actually, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's not like a, maybe it's not a bear. Maybe it's, I don't know, more a lion? Some sort of space line, maybe?
Press that button and then that button. Ah, uh, suffering. Yep, it is. Okay, uh, might need a gyroscope or two more. <laughs> Trying to turn right now. try this to see if it'll work but this might let me use this as a crane to a certain point depends on how heavy that cargo container is going to be no idea curiosity what's going to happen if i were to i don't know they walk underneath that walk under this i don't know mm -hmm. Guts here if you had done that without your uh, little piston legs there. Carol, what is that? Hmm? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Do you not expect this at this point? Well, we need something to pick up the thing and put it on the truck, right? So I've got a landing gear on the bottom of this thing so I can lock it to the ground while I pick up the uh, cargo with the little dingly arm on the front of this thing. Then I can unlock from the ground. I can hopefully have enough uh, time to pull it back somewhere useful and get on the truck. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, it's still flyable so I can get the heck out of here before you guys kill me. Mm-hmm. I mean, we could test it right now, see if I can pick up the truck. What? What? I'm over here minding my business. Uh -huh. As always, yes, you do like to mind your business, don't you? You know, the suits have a little thing on them that tells you who built something. <laughs> Oh. 
Pro? How Man, is that going to work? I've got to be honest with you. If I'd seen the previous one of yours, like in a series, you know, like Vanguard, and, and then suddenly something like that showed up in like the same franchise, I'd be pissed. Hmm? <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like it needed it. Really? It looked pretty classic before, and now... It looked yeah. pretty good before. Fine. I don't know. Do you? Oh, your mag blocked to the ground, that's why. That's no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Keep in the pipes. Okay. Here I am thinking I'm gonna pull off a little bit of a unscheduled towing, and no, that's not gonna work. I, I must admit, I do seem to note a lack of cargo tie downs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There they are. All right. <laughs> well, hang Not on. so much tie, but lockdown, but sure. I was just thinking, though. Hang on. There's loads of those. If, any, if there's a complaint, I would expect it to be there's too many. An unnecessary number. Too many. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I need one of those. I'm glad someone uh, picked up on what I was referring to, Zalit Wolf. sure if you're a forklift or a combine harvester me well, he's, he's got a brand new combine mm. harvester no feral mm, no i'm pretty sure i'm not a forklift I'm pleased I kept it looking like a truck, at least. Just like a truck that someone's bitten the wheels off of. What are you doing down there? I'm suspicious. Looking. Yeah, that's where everything is, basically. Mm-hmm. Not a wrist. Nice one. You could almost not even have to lower those very far to the land. Yeah, it only, only needs to be a tiny weeny bit, but it, because it, they had that half block along the front, 
that kind of makes up the bumper. I didn't want to get rid of it because it looks like it's supposed to be there. I had to put something on because you can't put a mag block at a half block height. Yeah. Yes, it has many batteries that are all pretty much under there. And then um, the thrusters are hidden. <laughs> I'm sure that'd be fine if you uh, dip a little bit too low. Uh, well, therein lies the trick. <laughs> I plan to fly up here. Ready then? I think so. Has anyone got any spare bits on them? Bits for pistons, the far end, etc. No, I've got yes. the one that's uh, on my ship. So, and I've got the ability to make anything we need. You say you do, Tex? Huh? Cool. Take and the parts for about eight pistons and mag plates and other stuff like that. Just bits we might need when we get there to rig up yep. this cargo. Sweet. Sounds good to me. Well then, uh, this means convoy time. Indeed. I think so. Let's go. Let's grind off this thing real quick. What I thought was going to work. Needs a lot more engineering to make it work. I, I literally think it's the truck underneath it the back down yep or I get on top of the uh, wherever it's going to be and not over yeah you just push it with any one of the vehicles we got so yep like this little stripped down bike that I totally didn't know <clears throat> big bikes Good to go. Mm -hmm. Where's well, your wheel? Lead us out. Okay, hang on. Rubber deck, rubber deck. You gotta lay the hammer down. Oh, not again. know if these things work on the water yet? Uh, I don't know. No idea. What was that? Anyone know if these things work on the water yet? Uh, good question. Hey, Space Car, go find out. Theoretically, if they've got enough pressure for then yeah, I should progress on water. Careful, Barrel, I'm drifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could see the shadow <laughs> drifting right in behind me because I'm flying at just enough of a speed that I can stay aloft. I don't, obviously don't want to outrace you guys. I saw a picture of us in 
speed there came down on an edge okay now I can't see a thing yeah ditto yeah back to the ground wheels on this then because that did hurt that hit an engine you can stop off with the uh, iron bunker and fix it spot where I can pass on to you while you're hovering. Right, I've gone glow mode. Sorry, but I want to make sure you can see me. This is um, not great driving weather. Uh, do we want to find out? Can someone like test the waters a little bit, literally? Because um, the nice thing about the water it doesn't have any trees in it. Uh, there's that base down there. I'm gonna head down there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Garris, heavy consult engineering. Yep. You mean that base is hidden too? Yeah, that one. Uh, okay. I thought we were oh still on the God. road. <laughs> Problem is, you guys, when you do that, you make me jump up in the air. Because oh. my hovers react to you being underneath me. <laughs> How are you? Are you running underneath the semi? That seems like... Yes, like both idea. of them have done it now. And every time they do, the whole, the whole thing goes... Bruh. Down the hill from here. Mm -hmm. Looks like it works. I accidentally ran over the water and I'm floating. <laughs> Not the best way to discover it, I'm sure. But...
Yeah, this is the sort of weather where you just go, let's stop playing for a bit. Yep, I made it In a course. game with no real survival element, it did not need penetrating fog that doesn't do anything. That is really hairy when you're driving something this large. They have anything for sale? Uh, I've not been inside yet, doing a bit of patch up work here. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yes, uh, that, that that was hairier than I'd like. I've got to be honest, in something this size. Of, uh, needed a little bit of a wide load sticker on the back of that thing. Well, yeah, and the view out of my windscreen over the bonnet is um, mm -hmm. not great. Like You can see the ground as long as the ground you're wanting to see is more than 200 meters ahead of you. Yeah, kind of the the same way on this. I actually did try and out a cockpit view and or in cockpit view, and it didn't quite work out like I had hoped. Is that someone on the other side of the lake, the other side of the river. Yeah, me. Oh, do you want to come back? Only cause this doesn't seem like a bad place to hold up for the night and let the weather pass and the sun come up. Mm -hmm. Okay. My well-mannered bike has turned into a bronking buck. I wonder if they do have anything here. I think I'm too big to do it the other way. That's a quitter talk. Let the jukebox playing in here, it's creepy. Seem to be missing uh, a couple of hovers there. No, they're there. 
are just not working that great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, they, they, they seem to... I don't know. Seem to be a bit... Um... Glitchy, yeah. Mm, prone to fire and sparks and... Nah, those are okay. A little burning. Brought some extra parts. Looks like it went well. Yeah, it may have. Your first battle. Trees. Ah, the ants, very worthy foes. The battle of the bush, then we'll call it. First, your quest is you must defeat the shrubbery. Well, it's worth noting, if you end up in trouble, we do have a vehicle available that can take you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we go. This is how it works. Whoever Big ends up broken them. first has to be carried by the orange monstrosity. Oh, Orangey brown shit. monstrosity. What happens if the orange brown monstrosity breaks first? And then uh, it passes right on top of yours. Yeah, then you get to carry it. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you were wanting? Well, you brought us here. <laughs> And if I press that button, it stops making stupid noises as well. How fantastic. I'm sure that's fine. It looks like your piston heads aren't attached. But, uh, it's attaching them for scrubs. That's what, all the, uh, that's what normal people do. Cool kids. Mm -hmm. Cool kids. Got to be a bit different. I see by yeah, the color of your grinder, you would be in trouble. <clears throat> what are you doing? Well, given that it's resorted to murder, stop that. Maybe we should hit the sack and come morning, we'll head out. Because I don't particularly fancy doing this in the dark either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can figure out why my hovers are all bugging out. Nope, oh, shut your rubbish down and we'll head into Sarek then. Just leaving you. I'm not going to be able to sleep with that one. What is it doing to the. Thank you. I don't think you're going to be able to sleep with the music going on in there. No, all right then, fine. We're going somewhere else. Anywhere else? Nope, 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 nope. In or I'm, out? What? I'm gonna break into one of these buildings around here if need be. Yay, breaking and entering. Actually, you know what? I know where I'm gonna sleep. Hi. Go sleeper truck. Yeah. Hey, space bar. Mm -hmm. Want to come join me in my sleeper truck? Um. Uh, uh, separate beds. Um. Fine. Don't join me. I'm literally sealed in a different thing. You're gonna be fine. And I've got some. Uh... Ghost landing gear back there. In the car. 
Oh, I'm just gonna go over here. I'm I'm seeing like mag plates floating in the air, so don't worry about those. And if you hadn't figured it out yet, that is also the point we're going to end for this week. Ready to set up on a mission? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for joining us, everybody. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not repeating it. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for joining us. Go check out Spacebar and Mr. Farrell in the link description. Don't forget you can check their POVs and see what they got up to. I would recommend. Well, we've been split up a lot, so good reason to go and check out what they've been up to. And we will see you all for the next one. Bye, y'all. Which will be next week. More and back. Come back here. I will also be live over on Twitch shortly. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, guys. Thank you very much. Later. I needed gratuitous close-up of spacebar and cryopod to end with, but X8 up was failing. There we go.